Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for June 21st through the 27th. I hope everybody is doing well, staying happy, safe, and healthy. Let's go ahead and get shuffled up, guys. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today for my Capricorns, please, Spirit? Clarity and guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Capricorns, please. June 21st through the 27th, please, Spirit. All right, my loves. So if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, Sage. I give away Dragon's Blood Incense, which is great for clearing negative energy also. Um, crystals, jewelry. I give away NIV version uh, Bibles. They're the large print. They're amazing for Bible study. Very easy to read. Um, so be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. Um, to enter the giveaway, it is super simple. You can find the instructions in the description box below along with an email to reach me for um, uh, to request a reading. My Divine Spirit uh, Healing 1111 channel. My new channel is down there also. And my... Um, uh, timeless collective readings is down there. All right, guys. So I hope everyone's ready for Mercury retrograde. I think it went into uh, retrograde yesterday. So let's see what we have going on here, guys. Um, so in your pre-shuffle message, so Capricorn, I feel like, I feel like you guys just went through a nasty breakup for whoever I'm reading for. Um, it was really nasty. Okay. Some really ugly things said, or a lot of heartache, maybe even betrayal. And I feel like you're in this energy where I, I'm, I've, I don't know, like you guys are just kind of like not really wanting to commit right now. Um, you're in this energy where you're going to take your time before you really trust somebody again. Um, I feel like you're still a little bit in your head about what happened. So you're kind of focusing on yourself. Maybe you're going to the gym, your looks, you're just trying to focus on going out, having a good time. Um, I feel like, you know, I see you guys maybe wanting to be very public, posting a lot of selfies maybe, um, but I feel that ultimately you are going to, like, you know what you want in a relationship. You, you want real happiness this time, and you are going to take your sweet time in choosing the right one because you're kind of like in this energy of the next person I date, I'm a marry. That's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like this energy of enough is enough. You know what I'm saying? So... I feel strongly that, um, yeah, the tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy. So maybe you haven't broken up with this person yet because that seems to be the overall energy. But the tower is a very quick and sudden change, okay? It's a very quick and sudden change, Capricorn. Um, it may just hit out of nowhere. And I feel like, you know, after this breakup comes, you're really not going to be in an energy of wanting to settle down. Like you just want to kind of take your time. So we've got give your relationship a chance and work on your partnership. So, you know, you were really um, trying to work on this connection or vice versa, but I feel like it could be a third party situation here that's causing this to end. Um, you know, someone here was really trying to give it an honest to God chance. When I see give your relationship a chance, I kind of feel like this may have been a connection where you guys broke up already and then reconciled and you were trying to give it another chance, right? And, you know, you may be finding out that someone is cheating or maybe you were cheating. I don't know, Capricorn, but um, someone here is in this energy of after this breakup hits, you're just not really interested in commitment. We got patience. Yeah. I, I feel like, you know, you're just not really, yeah, you're taking the time out to heal. You're taking the time out to heal. You did the right thing. You tried to give this a chance and it just, you know, it didn't work. And now you're just being patient. You're taking the time to heal. You're, you're um, taking your time when it comes down to choosing someone new, letting go. Yeah. Letting go. So, you know, you're patiently just letting go of the situation. We have professional assistance under the deck here. So um, you guys might be focusing on work. Maybe you're going to go back to school or maybe you may hire a counselor or somebody to speak to. All right. Let's see here. Capricorn energy with the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Yeah, Cap, I am so sorry, guys, but uh, someone here is about to really get their heart broken. 
if it hasn't happened already. Two of Pentacles and the Sun. Someone here is finding out that the other person was juggling. The Star, Aquarian Energy, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, um, so I feel that someone here is walking away to heal. Okay, someone here is walking away to heal. The Hanged Man and the Six of Wands, Piscean Energy. Um, I feel like somebody here is coming to the realization that the victory comes from just leaving this alone, walking away, healing, and being happy. Um, yeah, so I, I feel like there may be an explosive fight, sudden change. Like, I'm getting, like, coming home from, like, you know, the, the coming home from work, walking in, seeing your person in bed with somebody else type of, like, energy. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, it's very painful. You may find out that this person, like, uh, for some of you, they're sleeping with a friend a best friend a family member um yeah it's going to be a huge shock okay it's more I, I for for a many of you i feel like it's going to be more than just a, a third party i feel like it's a betrayal it's a massive betrayal like for for a lot of you for a lot of you i don't know this could resonate with one person for all i know i i, mean, I am getting i am getting that somebody here is hurt by two different people like a best friend or a family member like maybe somebody is sleeping with someone's sister or brother or cousin um or best friend or you know what i'm saying childhood friend um it could be something as serious as that because it is a lot of pain okay it's so much pain that by the time you're done with this connection you're really not going to trust for some time you're going to need some time to let this go so here we have the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles okay so someone here is very defensive they are very defensive. Um, this person knows with the Seven of Pentacles that they've made mistakes all throughout this relationship, okay? Um, they know they screwed up and they know that, you know, you've put up with a lot, okay? Six of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel here that um, somebody may have been... Uh, working on a relationship with an ex that six of cups could be a family member this could also just be a representation of this person knowing that in the past you've put in all the work king of swords aquarius gemini libra energy and the two of wands seven of swords and the ten of cups yeah, I feel like this person here is, you know, the truth is out with the King of Swords. Someone here was very strategic with the Two of Wands. Um, you know, someone here had a decision to make as to what they wanted. And I feel that, you know, with the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords, you could be married to this person. But one person here was giving all ten of their cups. Like, I'm feeling that, you know with give it give your relationship a chance one person was really putting all the work in trying to give this a chance and the other person was just really being deceitful okay really being deceitful um so let's see here spirit what messages do we have for my capricorn please what messages do we have for my capricorn please tell me about this queen of pentacles so we have the seven of wands Tell me about the three of swords, the five of swords. Yeah. So I feel like Capricorn, this is your energy. I feel like you're blocking everybody. You're walking away. You're defeated. You just don't care anymore. You're just done. Two of pentacles, the five of cups. Someone here is really going to regret juggling you, or you may be disappointed to find out what you're seeing here with the sun card and the 10 of wands. You're coming to the realization that it's time to just drop this. I feel like you're very cool, calm and collected with the star and the strength card. You know, you're just pulling back from the situation. You're getting your courage. You're gaining your strength and you're walking away with that eight of cups that's it i mean yeah judge you're making that final decision to just walk away sagittarian energy tell me about the hanged man we've got the lover's card gemini energy yeah i you, you know i feel like there's someone here hasn't made a firm decision on what they wanted like you decided to give this a chance and put all of your you know you're all into giving this a chance but with the hangman and the lover's card i feel like you know you're just deciding to end this six of wands and the eight of pentacles i feel like you know the victory here is just going to be in working on yourself and moving on tell me about this nine of wands we've got the two of pentacles yes yeah, see the two with the nine of wands and the two of pentacles someone here is going to try to defend themselves okay they're going to try to maybe make excuses tell me about the seven of pentacles we've got the hierophant taurus energy um this person maybe has, you know, they were supposed to be investing in this marriage or in this connection with the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. Many of you could be married to this person, but someone here was supposed to be trying to work on this marriage or invest in this marriage. And instead, 
Tell me about the Six of Cups, the Moon, Cancer, Piscean Energy. Yeah, I feel like somebody here maybe was sleeping with a family member, a friend, or an ex, okay, with that Six of Cups uh, in secret at night. Maybe you didn't know about it. Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Um, yeah, someone here was supposed to be working on this relationship, and instead they were having an affair. Tell me about the King of Swords. We've got the Death card, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, Scorpionic Energy. Somebody here... Um, changed you know that this this truth that is coming out has changed the game two of wands and the page of swords aquarius gemini libra energy somebody here is realizing um you know they're seeing the truth of the situation they're seeing the truth of the situation um and that this per that this person here has made a final decision seven of swords and the fool this person is non-committal they're not really looking to commit to anything ten of cups on top of the ten of cups this person had it all like you capricorn i don't know what side you fall on here but with the ten of cups on top of the ten of cups like you really like were good to this person okay you were really good to this person this person had it all and they're losing everything they're losing everything because they're non-committal. What they did, it's like there's no coming back from what they did. Okay, there's no coming back from what this person did. With the challenge here, we've got the fool. Someone here, again, being foolish, non-committal, irresponsible, and the two of cups. Okay, so someone here is supposed to be committed. They're supposed to be focusing on their relationship, and instead they're acting a fool, quite literally. I mean, to put it simply, okay? They're just, you know, not paying attention. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. With the Ten of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, that's going to cause you to just pull back and walk away like you're done. You're done. And I feel like once you walk away from this Capricorn, you're going to just focus on your looks, your time, going out, having a good time. You're going to take it slow when it comes down to, um, you know, uh, dating and stuff like that. You, you need to be patient and let this go and take time to heal. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. Be safe and take care. Bye.